If you are one of the 86% of home buyers who will require a mortgage loan to purchase a home, the process of getting approved for a mortgage may seem intimidating. There are a number of things that you can do to improve your chances of being approved for a mortgage. Let's take a look at what you should do. We'll begin with getting pre-qualified. The first thing you should do is get pre-qualified. This way, you will know how much you can afford to pay and aren't heartbroken to learn that the home you fell in love with is way out of your price range. Getting pre-qualified also makes your purchase offer stronger since it indicates that you have already started working with the lender and that you are able to come up with the money that you have promised to pay. Next, make on-time payments on all your accounts. The next item you want to make sure that you always do is make your payments on time. Your lender will look at all of your debt as an indicator of how you pay your debts. It's important to remain in good standing with your creditors while you're waiting for loan approval. Next, submit every single document your lender asks for. You will be asked for bank statements, pay stubs, and tax returns, among other documents. Make sure to turn these in and do so in a timely manner. If your lender asks you to resubmit a document, please do so. Although it may seem frustrating, the lender has a reason for requesting these documents, and failing to produce them could delay approval or even result in a loan denial. Just as there are several things that you should do during the home loan process, there are also a number of things that you should avoid at all costs when applying for a mortgage loan. Do not take out any other loans or make any large purchases while waiting for the loan approval. Your lender will pull your credit one last time before you get final approval and seeing a decrease in the score or a decrease in the amount of credit you have available may cause your loan to be denied. Large purchases, especially if made using credit, can lower your credit score and affect your debt to income ratio. Of course, sometimes things happen. Let's say your car breaks down and you have to make unexpected repairs. Let your lender know the situation in advance. They may be able to work around the situation if you provide documentation and a detailed explanation of the circumstance. Next, don't make any changes in your employment. The time to switch career paths is not in the months leading to a purchase. It is also not wise to reduce the number of hours you work. Lenders will want to see multiple pay stubs to ensure your income is consistent and that they can rely on you to make your monthly payment and making major changes can make you look like an unreliable borrower. Next, don't make large cash deposits into your bank account. This one sounds a little funny, but lenders need to be able to document where all funds of your down payment and earnest money deposits come from. If you receive a large amount of money as a gift, you will need to provide a letter explaining where the money came from and will also have to prove that you are not reliant upon this money to pay your bills. Lastly, don't be afraid to ask questions. The process of buying a home and getting a mortgage is a big deal and can be confusing or overwhelming. If you want your lender to update you on the status of your loan, then ask them. If you aren't sure what a certain fee is or what an acronym stands for, reach out to your lender for an explanation. Be sure that you aren't bothering them. They will probably appreciate you keeping the lines of communication open and staying on top of things. Getting a mortgage doesn't have to be complicated. Just remember, your lender is there to help you along the way and always remember to ask questions. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it helpful and I hope you would like to discuss it further. So if you would, please feel free to call me, Mitch Millat, Riviera Financial Mortgage, 424-290-8294. You can also email me, Mitch at rivierafinancial.com. You can also find me on Instagram at Mitchell Millette or on my Facebook homepage, Mitch Millette, Riviera Financial, Beverly Hills. Thank you so much. Look forward to talking to you soon and wishing you much, much success in the future.